So not only is this a smart switch, but it's a remote control as well, and it can be used to control multiple devices. By using a device like this, you can basically control your entire smart home remotely. And if you think that sounds interesting, well, as you'll see in today's video, it is. And I'm also going to show you how you could really benefit from having a device like this in your smart home. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button, because that's what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this four button smart wireless scene switch from ZemiSmart. This is what they call the ZMR4 model. So what this is, is basically a four button smart switch, but it's been designed so you can also use it as a remote control as well. So you are now able to control your smart home remotely. It can of course also be used as a normal four gang smart switch that is permanently mounted to the wall as well, if needed, as it comes with this very stylish wall mount adapter that can be screwed or stuck to your wall. And yes, it's magnetic. So your remote control just magnetically sits in there by itself. When attaching the remote to the mount, be sure you place the remote control the correct way up. Because if you place it upside down, the magnet will not hold the remote control and it will fall out. This is definitely another great idea and design by ZemiSmart because having a remote control that can be carried around with you in your smart home definitely has its uses. However, I would not recommend carrying it around in your pocket as the switches of the remote control are quite light when you press them. So you may accidentally trigger devices when you don't want them to be triggered if you have the remote control inside your pocket. As for the functionality of it, it basically works the same as any other smart switch. And when I say that, I mean each button still has the same standard three function operation as most other smart switches do, which are single click, double click, and long press. And because the smart controlled switch has four buttons, that means you can use it to control 12 different devices, if that's how you want to set it up, of course. This smart remote control switch does also have a remote dimming feature as well that you could use to control the brightness of the lights in your room. However, for me personally, after a few days of trying, I was not able to successfully get that to work. So I am unable to demonstrate that for you today. This remote control is of course battery powered and it uses a CR2450 3V battery, which ensures a longer lasting life of power. And you just install it in here under the removable battery door on the back. This is a Zigbee device, so yes, a Zigbee gateway is definitely required to use it. However, it's been designed to operate on Zigbee 802.15.4, so it needs to be used with the ZemiSmart Meta M1 gateway hub, even though it's not a Meta device, it's a Zigbee device. So while that might sound strange to some of you, it's very important to remember that, because if you try to use a standard Zigbee or to your gateway, it will not work. And yes, I have tried and device control is not supported at all. Now, I don't know how big it looks on camera to you, but it's not actually that big at all. Measuring only 90 millimeters long by 42 millimeters wide, and it's about 14 millimeters thick. That's the physical size of the remote control itself, of course. That's not including the wall mount bracket, which is a little bit larger in size. I do have to admit though, it does feel quite comfortable when holding it in your hand, and every single button is easily accessible. This device is not supported by Alexa or Google. However, certain sync controls will still be supported by Alexa. Instead, it is just paired and set up using the Tuya app. And pairing it is really easy. And to do that, you just open the Tuya app. Then you need to choose the gateway that you're using. So I'm using the ZemiSmart M1 hub here. Tap on that. Now you tap on sub device. And then device management. Now you need to put the remote control into pairing mode. And to do that, you need to hold down button one and button two at the same time until the little blue LED here starts flashing, which takes approximately eight seconds. And it's flashing now. So that means the remote is now in pairing mode. Then you just tap on quick add and in a few seconds, the device will have been paired through the gateway and is ready to use.
Then to be able to use the device, you can just click on the scene tab at the bottom of the tour your app and set up your scenes so you can use the remote control. So now the device has been set up, what can you actually do with it? Well, those options are basically now endless because by setting up scenes inside the Tuya app, this will now allow you to control virtually any other smart devices inside your smart home. Of course, as far as device compatibility goes, well, using Tuya or Zemi smart devices will definitely be a big advantage to you. For me personally, my smart home is still very Tuya based, as I have always been and still are a big fan of Tuya products. So maybe the better question would be, what could I personally use a smart remote control for? And to answer that question, I will now demonstrate just some of those things for you. Now to get as much device control support as possible when using this device, you will of course want to use all three functions of every single button. So starting with button number one and a single click, my smart door will open. And with a double click, the smart door will then again close. And just so I can use all three functions of button number one, I've also set it up so when I long press it, the LED strip that goes around my door frame also turns on. Okay, and now for button number two. So I've set this one up so with a single click, It opens my smart window. With a double click, it closes the smart window. And with a long press, I decided to set it up to control my ceiling fan, which does work, it just takes a while for the fan to start spinning. Button number three, with a single click, will now close my curtains. A double click will now open my smart couch table. And a long press turns on the TV. And now I'm ready to watch a movie. Button number four is definitely going to be my favorite button so far. And that's because it's in my favorite room, which is the garage. And it's going to be great for the garage, especially if the car itself, in my case, this BMW X1, was also connected to my smart home, which if you follow this channel, you will already know that it is. So, a single click can now unlock the BMW for me. A double click will open the garage door for me. And a long press will close it again. So that was nine different devices that I was able to control in my smart home using this one smart remote with only four buttons. But of course using scenes and automations you could control a lot more than that if you wanted to. That was actually pretty cool as well as unbelievably convenient and useful. There's obviously a lot more I could do with it than what I've just demonstrated, but the point of the demonstration was to show you how you can use only a single button of the smart remote to control multiple devices. So if you have a large smart home set up, then as you can see, you could probably really benefit from having a device like the smart remote in your smart home. And I do love the design feature of this device, that after you have finished using it for the day, you can then just magnetically stick it back onto the wall in its mounting cradle, so you know where it is when you need it again tomorrow. If you love your garage as much as I do, 
then having one of these devices dedicated to the garage alone would be a great idea. Doing this you could control everything in the garage, such as the door, the lighting, some of your power tools, and if you also have your car connected to your smart home like I do, then that as well. And because it would be used just for the garage, it means you will have all four buttons available to do it. I will put a link in the description below to SemiSmart's website where you can buy one of these for yourself. And while you're there, you can check out the range of other products that SemiSmart have as well. Okay guys, that brings us to the end of another video. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, then please like, share and subscribe to the channel where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.